I mean, the most critical aspect of an airport is the control tower, right? The runway lights, baggage claim, their light rail system. Everything needs power to be able to transact. That's a pretty big pipeline of electricity. So airports are important in the community and they have to have the ability in the event of a natural disaster to continue to operate even without electricity. And the only way you can do that is to have self-generation. Microgrids has been a need for a long time. For the airport specifically, you know, having the resiliency of something that protects them from what could happen outside their own control. It's critical, obviously, for the airport to have power at all times. This power plant provides that capability. These are Ineo Genbacher 624 containerized units. These units are modular, so they're very, very efficient for construction with a lot less mistakes. So the airport pays for the energy. They don't make any capital investment in the project. You know, we as investors own the plants and we're making that long-term commitment, charging them less than what they were paying the utility. Microgrids are small-scale power generation and distribution systems. Microgrids can operate as an isolated system or with clearly defined physical and electrical boundaries. Power is generated continuously by the microgrid with Enio Yenbacher engines as the main distributed energy resource. Other generating technologies may combine with the gas engines. Natural gas transmission pipelines and on-site production feed the Enio's Yenbacher gensets. The substation is also connected to the traditional utility grid in the event backup power is needed. In this example, an entire airport is powered by the microgrid. Having the power plant right at the customer is the most efficient way to produce power. Jen Barker's doing a good job balancing the efficiency of an engine like this with really low emission to get the best of both worlds. These units also have the capability of black starting, which means starting with no power at all. If the fall was so great that it took everything down, the entire grid in this area, plus our generators, we could black start. So we have batteries that start these units up, then we would automatically resynchronize our island system back to the utility and then be back in normal operation again. Whenever you have those disasters, that becomes a point of reflection of what would be the cost of my business to recover from that. We see a spike in gas prices because there's less availability of natural gas. It's very disruptive, whether it's hurricanes, floods, wildfires, droughts, they all have an impact on cost. I think there's just gonna be more and more on that and we're excited about being able to demonstrate what we've done at the airport and what we're planning with others in the same type of scenario.